More important than the privilege and opportunity to be able to fish is to consider our environment, our impact on the environment as well as the fish stocks. Now in this week's edition, we feel it very important, probably one of the most important aspects of preserving fish stocks is our resident species. To understand this properly should be each angler's responsibility and in layman's terms it works as follows. A reef washes open that forms a home to whole bunch and variety of different species and food source for bigger fish. These species are resident and in general slower growing than our pelagic species. Therefore special care should be taken and considered before you keep one of these species. One of the prime examples are rockcod and a common occurrence to any angler's expeditions. Thus these fish form a essential role to our local habitats. These little environments or homes form the key part in bigger predatory and migratory fish to come around for us to be able to target them. Should we not consider these fish, we in essence affect the whole chain. So when fishing for rock cod, keep that at heart and at mind and consider releasing these species to stay part of that little environment or ecological system that impacts a much bigger cause. Now when handling rock cod, it's important that you understand that the gill plates are very sharp, so be very careful of them. And I always say to someone, treat and handle the fish the way you want to be treated and handled. Thus don't drag them over the rocks unnecessarily. Try and use water where possible or maybe rock pools and get them in there as quick as possible to get it unhooked and release again. And if possible guys, instead of chucking them back, find a little gully where you can slip them in and they can suck out with the water. In other words, wait for a wave to push up and release the fish into that water so it can suck back with the water. What's important to note that when you're tagging the fish, try and hold your tag in a 45 degree angle and just remove the scales. And then you push firmly in and that's it, there you go. That tag's not uh, deep. The reason behind tagging this fish is basically um, there's an institution called ORI. Well, it stands for Oceanographic Research Institute. They, they have a tagging program running in South Africa. How it works is you catch fish, you tag them. Once those fish are recaptured, ORI gets some vital information out of them. How long has it been free for? where do the fish uh, live, basically locality, how far do they move, as well as uh, how much have they grown since the last time that they were caught. It's a research program and uh, uh, we are trying to assist Ori with, with research of our fisheries. This fishery is a very special fishery for us here in Zuland. There's a lot of fish in this area solely because of the fact that we release all our fish that we catch here. We also tag them. I'm happy to get a recapture on our catfish rocker. What we will do is we'll submit that recapture information to Ori and then Ori will, will basically let us know where about we, this fish was tagged previously and uh, how far it's traveled as well as how much has it grown since, we, since its last recapture or since it was tagged. Excellent! You can see there, uh, that's definitely one of the fish that we've tagged in this area. It's an excellent sign there's a lot of fish here and uh, these fish are healthy. See that tagged fish survived. If you actually have a look in the gut of this, you see the feelers of a crayfish in there. So it's probably, I can actually feel it in there. It's probably got a whole crayfish in its mouth and its gut and it still took my bait. Okay, so why we tend to use a heavier tackle for these rock art? If you have a look at what, what this fish is doing, it's pushing out its gill plates. What it does is it goes into a crevice, it, it opens up those gill plates and it, and it holds itself there. So that's why you find when you're targeting rock cod, you tend to get stuck there and stuck there. And uh, yeah, obviously the heavier nylon helps to, uh, to get your fish out. Oh, so let's get this little fella back. Now it's up to us as anglers to be the examples to everybody out there. To ensure a better future and fish stocks for the next generations.